Are you stuck on defining your niche? If you are stuck on defining your niche, I'm gonna have, I have a strange suggestion for you. Just let it go for now. Yeah, let go of trying to figure out your offerings for now, figure out your ideal audience, okay? Instead, build an audience based on your authentic personality and your authentic content first. So let me explain. When you, f when you try to figure out your niche from the beginning, you end up investing a lot of your time and energy in, in building a product or service or in uh, figuring out this ideal audience that you wanna, you wanna reach, and you become so invested in it that you lose the flexibility of what reality will give you. And also, you define everything and you don't have an audience yet. And now, you, now that you've created your product or service, okay, you figure out this is the people that I want to give it to, now you're trying to persuade this group of people to buy it. And it, becomes, it all becomes very unauthentic. You do copywriting, you do funnel creation, you do all these things that is not pleasing to the audience. It's not uplifting. It doesn't feel good. It just feels like, ah, someone's trying to market to me. Instead, try this, okay? You show up to the world with your authentic self, sharing your whatever your passions are, sharing about things that you're interested in, things about that you've learned, sharing about you, okay? And your passions. And yes, you want to, um, you probably have a sense of where you might want to build a business in the future. But if, even if you don't, you could just show up as you. You're building an audience based on your personal brand. Have you heard that before? I think it's the most, I think going forward, it's going to be the most sustainable type of business in terms of most viable for an ongoing long period of time. Building an audience based on your personal brand. Okay, Your personal brand is basically you, your ideas, your voice, um, your passions, your style, okay? Showing up either through video or through writing or through images. And you build an audience who just love you for who you are. Imagine that. Yes, they're out there. I mean, how many people are on the internet? Last I checked, it was something like 4 billion people on the internet, okay? How many people will resonate with you. 1% of the internet, one out of 100 people, one out of 1,000 people, let's say one out of 1,000 people might resonate with you. 4 billion people, and then let's see, 400 million, 40 million, 4 million people is one out of 1,000 people on the internet might resonate with you. Now let's take it down even more. Let's say one out of one-tenth of those people you could reach that's 400,000 people you could reach who might resonate with your stuff. And maybe, let's say, out of the 400,000 people, one-tenth of those really do resonate with you, really, really like who you are and your ideas and your personality. That's 40,000 people that could be your true and raving fans, you know, for the life of your business. It's worth finding them, okay? The simplest way of building an audience is through paid ads. There's two ways, really. There's paid ads and then there's collaborations with other influencers. There are other people who have an audience that's growing an audience. Paid ads is the easiest. You could run Instagram ads. You could run Facebook ads. My recommendation always is start with Facebook ads because you're able to tailor the targeting um, and you're able to post either writings or video or images to kind of you have more more flexibility with Facebook ads. It's 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 right now that the cheapest actually Instagram ads are cheaper, but um, I think Facebook ads in my experience has been more effective. So you build an audience first of people who love just who you are, all right, and then and then you get to know your audience members either through one to one conversations private messaging, through phone calls, through video chats, or, or through commenting. You get to know them, and then you survey them based on what you want to offer. Hey, here are my three ideas for online courses. Here are my three ideas for one-on-one -on -one services. 
which one of these is most interesting to you? Oh, interest. Oh, that one is most okay. Based on their opinions, you then offer the thing that they say they want. You see. So now, instead of spending so much time and energy defining your niche, creating this product service that you're so invested in that you don't want to fail, which is, which basically locks you in to an offering that may or may not be good in the market. You don't know. A marketing expert can't tell you. If, it's, if you're just working with yourself and a marketing expert, you have two opinions, okay? You can't have just two opinions. You have to have opinions of hundreds of people or thousands of people. And how do you do that? You do that by building an audience first and then getting to know them, surveying them, and then offering them what they want. This is the way that makes money. And not only does it make money, it makes money authentically. Because now you're no longer trying to push people, push something down people's throats. You're not trying to make people buy something. You're simply talking to people who already love you, asking them what they want, and then selling it to them. It's, it's quite simple. But it's not how most people do it. Most people do it by trying to figure everything out in the beginning, and they do it with too little information. They don't, they're not in touch with the market. And I don't want that to happen to you. So build an audience first, whether you're doing it through Instagram or through Facebook or through YouTube. Those are some of the best places to build an authentic uh, personal brand. And then you can sell what, and what you, what you sell might surprise you. You might be totally surprised by what you can sell. I mean, maybe it ends up being, who knows, maybe it ends up being like they support you through Patreon. Maybe they're just, maybe they're sending you $10 a month because they really like your content and they want to support you in creating more stuff. Or maybe it's creating an online course that they want. Or maybe it's creating a group of, you know, a, a sort of more premier group of people that you facilitate out of that audience. Who knows? But let it be open for now until you build an audience and get to know them and, and what they are buying. What they are buying, what they're interested in buying. And from there, you can take a survey and then sell them what they want. I hope this is helpful. I look forward to your comments or your questions. Have a great day.